What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is Friday, uh, March 30th. Just giving you a quick update on what's going on inside the tent. Wanted to bring you in into a, uh, a deep look on what I got going on right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. I'm an indoor grower. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell. This way you get email notifications every single time I upload a video. And this is just me showing you guys what I really got going on inside the tent. Um, this is my indoor grow. Again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been uh, here from the beginning, a lot of you guys have. This is my indoor grow. I usually have a lot of lettuce or something uh, something in that sense right up at the top. As you can see here, three reservoirs going all the way across. Those are all lettuces that I recently planted about, um, probably about two and a half weeks ago. And down below here, I have a humongous situation going on of uh, a watermelon, actually two watermelon vines that I'm currently growing. And that right there, let me zoom in on it from right here. Let's see if I can do that. Boom. And that is orange mint. Let's see if we know a difference today. I am using a nice 4K camera. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. I've tried to use this camera before, but didn't have much success, but we'll see what happens this time. So again, this is me showing you guys what I got going on. Ah, the lettuce is looking fantastic. I hope you're uh, also all having the same growing success as I am. Let's take a nice close look. Also, guys, if, if uh, while you're watching the YouTube video, now on phones, on iPhones and any other thing, I think it automatically comes up if it's like, an, uh, if it's like a high quality HD video, uh, but it shows up at the highest quality level. If you're watching this on a PC, down here at the, at the bottom right of your actual screen of the uh, YouTube video, there's like a little sprocket there. You could change the setting to, um, to 1080p. And like this video, for example, is in 1080p and much higher, plus 4K. So if you actually switch it to that level, you will notice a significant difference in quality. I mean, it's, it's literally unparalleled. As you can see here, we have these beautiful little lettuces. This is some romaine that I got growing on right here. Let's take a look at the root system. They're doing pretty good. They're really doing pretty good. As you can see, the water is beautifully percolating through the air stone. Again, if you're new to the channel or you've been with me for a while and you want to sustain a grow just like this, everything from the reservoirs, tubing, uh, pump, fan, shelving, tent, everything. It's all available right down below. Click on see more and you will see all the links to all the items that I currently use to maintain my grow. And it's just, just not this stuff, it's way more than that. Uh, more in detail stuff, pH readers, parts per million readers, uh, pH up and downs, everything that you need to sustain a grow like this. So again, the lettuce is doing fantastic. I love the, I love the color of this. This is some beautiful butter lettuce right here. Really nice looking stuff. I love how this stuff comes out. It is awesome. Let's take a look inside here. Ah, beautiful white, delicate roots all throughout. I love, I love looking at really nice, healthy lettuce. And I'm so excited as summer is around the corner. Now we're, you know, we're in uh, spring. Um, I'm very excited to see what I can come up with in regards to growing some flowers outside, growing some watermelon outside, growing all fun stuff like that. Now, this is where it gets interesting. In recent days, I've had some serious, serious developments and actually with this new camera, not my other camera. The other camera that I use is an RX100 Sony. It's a decent camera, it's not 4K and it does not have the optical zoom that this current video camera has. This is a video camera that I'm using. As you can see here, nice up close shot. This is the orange, uh, the orange mint, still doing good. I mean, I, I don't even know where to take this, honestly. It's like so big, I need to, and the crazy thing is I was at the supermarket yesterday and I just wanted to know how much mint will cost, okay? And just so you know, a thing of like, a thing of like this big of mint was $2. So I got maybe like $15 in mint here, maybe a little more. But that's cool though. I mean, this is this is what I'm talking about in regards to being able to sustain your own grow and stuff like that. Oh, this is gonna be perfect, this camera, for this current video. Guys, look at this. Look at that. See that? It's like a little watermelon with a female with a female top. It's potentially going to be um, 
you know, sprout. Uh, well, not sprouting, but it's uh, it's about, it looks like it's about to open up, and that's awesome that it's got that bottom heavy part, and that's the little watermelon that needs to get germinated. I have some other ridiculous ones here. I got this little guy right here. It's hard to point the camera and try to see exactly where I am with everything. There's one right there. I got some good ones right over here, and I have been manually pollinating them. And let me tell you, it's not easy at all. Look at this, um, look how hairy this stem is. Is that crazy or what? Oh, I love bringing this, this, this video camera is a heck of a lot different than what I'm previously using. Let me know in the comments down below if you like what this looks like. Here we have another one right there. As soon as that opens up, I'll pollinate that. I've had a lot of decent comments lately from you guys letting me know how to go about working this thing. This is my biggest one right here. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? That is so cool. That is so, so cool. I love that. That is great. <laughs> that is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. How watermelon could develop like that. It's so cool to me. It, it literally, this is why I do it, because it's so cool. I got this enormous vine growing right here, all, all the way kind of like, it's kind of like a, it's, it's grabbed onto the tent here. And it's all back down here. I don't really, I can't even tell what's really going on over here. Because it's already in back of the, um, the reservoir. I mean, look at the stem system in here. I gotta put some water in there ASAP. Look inside here. Look at that back part. That is all, that huge, enormous situation. That is all just from two vines, two seeds of watermelon. I'm gonna go crazy planting watermelon this summer outside just to see how it all works out. Oh, we got this one right here, right there. And that looks like it's um, it's soon to be opening up. It's really hard to find little watermelons opening up. And there's one right there. That's why it's actually really hard to, to try to get this off the ground. Oh, there's another one right here, just found. Look at that one. How cool is that? These are so great. I love this, I really do. I really love just, just seeing it progress and it's just it's so cool to me that just how it how it <laughs> look how it just like circles around this little stem here i love this um so a lot's going on here in um in regards to the watermelon i'm really excited i hope i could actually produce something and you know i read some articles that some uh, some of you guys have posted well one guy posted and i read about it in regards to watermelons to reach full maturity they need to be pollinated multiple times now i don't know if i could sustain that i don't know if i'm able to do that because i only have so many male um flowers and that's totally fine i'll waste all of them i don't care just to get one watermelon i just want to see one succeed you know what i mean i just want to see one succeed and that will make me happy it'll all be worth it if i could just get that one to succeed and that's really it. Well, this is it, guys. I'm kind of keeping it chill. It's Friday. I hope you all enjoy this fantastic Easter weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. I hope you're all growing inside. Make sure to hit the, uh, the links down below if you're looking for uh, to set up a grow tent just like this. And also, make sure to give me the thumbs up. Make sure to hit it subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Guys, this is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Talk to you guys soon.